Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how we can add subtitles into a video for DaVinci Resolve 15. So as you can see in the timeline, I already have some audio voiceovers recorded using the Fairlight tab actually. And we're going to take this and add subtitles to go along with that. Now the subtitles can be burned into the video file itself, or it can be exported as a .srt file, which is separate and does not have to be played back with the video, but instead becomes an option. And that is the standard format that sites like YouTube would use. So in order to add a subtitle in, we want to open up the effects library in the top left, go down to titles and choose subtitle, which is way at the bottom of the list. When we add this, it's going to add onto its own separate subtitle track. So you should see ST1 pop up there. And we can click on the subtitle to see what the subtitle is going to say. In this new captions inspector, uh, we can also see the starting time and the ending time, currently three seconds long. And you'll see a checkbox for use track style. So the track style is going to basically set how the subtitles should look for the entire track and I would recommend keeping them consistent so it's easy for people to continue reading. So if you want to customize the track style, right over here on the next tab says track style where you can set things like what font you want, how big the subtitle should be, setting the position for them, and you can do things like stroke the outside of the text characters with a specific color if you choose. But just to show, let's do a couple customizations here. So maybe for font, I will change that to uh, impact isn't too bad. So maybe for font, I can change that to big noodle titling and I could increase the size of the subtitle. And if I want it to be a little bit more visible, I could add on a drop shadow or a stroke. So maybe if we do drop shadow and offset it, I think I want to do that as a negative offset though, so it appears below, not above. And we'll leave the color as black. So that makes it pretty visible here. Uh, the size might be too large, but we'll figure that out as we add in some actual captions. So in order to know what we have to write, we have to listen back to what's being said in the videos. Okay, so let's go ahead and give the first few seconds a listen to here, so we can listen back and hear what the subtitles should be reading as. As you can see, the Amazonian rainforest is the... Okay, so it says, as you can see, the Amazonian rainforest. So that's what I'll type into the subtitles. Now, uh, if you want it to jump to the next line, you can add a enter there. And maybe we decide the text is too big there. I'm not really liking the font for this purpose, so let's find something a little bit lighter. Okay, Kandera doesn't seem too bad, and we'll lower the size down a bit. Right around 90 is probably plenty. As you can imagine, when we scale this up to the size of the entire computer screen, that's going to look pretty big. So even that might be too large, honestly. And we can set the position too. So maybe we want it a little lower in the video. That's fine too. So I'll change the white position to 200. And we'll just leave it like that for right now. So let's play back a little bit more and then we'll add in another subtitle section. First is the most fascinating of places. So is the most fascinating of places. I will right click on the subtitle track and hit add subtitle, uh, which will be added where the cursor is at. So I actually want to drag that over here and we'll type in the caption on the captions tab. So is the most fascinating of places. And generally the idea just kind of goes on like this. So I'll right click and add subtitle again. And I'll listen back to this section. There is a waterfall that you can look at. Is this okay? So right here is a waterfall that you can look at. So I will type that. You can look at, and I'll drag this subtitle over um, so that it's timed up a little bit better there. And we can play back what we have so far. As you can see, the Amazonian rainforest is the most fast. Okay, so you may have noticed that there was a bit of a time discrepancy there. Amazonian rainforest ended right around here in forest. So I'm actually going to adjust the subtitles a little bit. I'll drag this over and make this second subtitle start a little bit early. Forest is the most fascinating of places. Here is a water. Okay, and I also missed a word on the third one. So here. So the basic idea is you just kind of have to re-listen to it and make sure that the audio and the text below, the subtitles, are lining up properly. And you just do that for the length of your video as long as there is someone speaking. And since there was some laughter in there, I can also add a comment about that. Now that's refreshing. <laughs> and that's pretty much the idea of how you add the subtitles in on the timeline. So now we're going to want to export the video with the subtitles. 
So we can go over to the Deliver tab. And when we are selecting all of our video preferences, like the export codec, the format, the quality of the video, and if we keep scrolling down to the bottom, there will be subtitle settings. So we're going to want export subtitle to be checked. And you have three different options here. You can do it as a separate file, which will allow you to export as SRT, the standard subtitle format, or web VTT, another format. And then you're going to want to choose which subtitle tracks you want included in the export. Now, generally, I imagine you only have one, so you're going to want to check that. And then you can add that to the render queue. And then you can go ahead and publish that. Alternatively, you can burn it into the video. And if you burn it into the video, that means it's effectively going to be a title track on the video. It's going to be indistinguishable from the video itself. It's just like you had another video track overlaying the video itself. Now, the problem with that is that if anyone ever wants to churn off the subtitles, they won't be able to because it's part of the video itself. It's not a separate file. Now, you can also do as embedded captions. So this will mean that if someone plays the video back in a player, I don't know, let's say VLC media player, that the captions will be included in the video file itself. So you don't need a separate file. It's actually included in the video itself, but you'll have the advantage of being able to turn it off and on. Okay, so now that we have the video exported, we can show the three different versions just so you guys get a better understanding. So burn into video. We'll open that one first. As you can see the Amazonian rainforest is the most fascinating of places. Here so when we right click and go down to subtitle track, there's nothing there because it's part of the video. It's, it's effectively like we added a bunch of title effects into our video. So next with embedded captions, if we open that up and pause it, um, it doesn't play back initially with the subtitles, but if we right click and go down to subtitles track, you should see a subtitle pop up here. So the core media data handler, that's referring to the subtitles we created. So going back to the start and we would hit play and the subtitles would be there. Um, but the difference between that and the separate file dot move is that we don't need to add in the subtitle as a extra file. It's just already included in the move. So let's open up separate file. And if we right click and go down to subtitle track this time, you don't see anything there because we actually need to drop the file in. So I'm going to move this out of the way and I will literally take this .srt file and drop this into our video player. So when we do that, it gets added in. Um, it said subtitle one loaded successfully. If we right click and go down to subtitle track, we can see the SRT is down there. And we can go ahead and play back As the video. You can see, the Amazonian rainforest is the most fascinating of places. Here is a waterfall that you can look at. Is the splashing that occurs as it goes down the river stream not fantastic? Boy, that would really hurt if you fell. Now that's refreshing. <laughs> so that's pretty much all there is to the idea of how you create subtitles inside of DaVinci Resolve, style them, and export them so that other people can play back your videos with those subtitles. So I've been Chris. I hope you found this video to be helpful, and I will see you guys in my future video content.